Hello everyone, my name is Odinson and this is Modded Minecraft. Um, okay, Die War 20, 1.19, this is episode 19. And here we are, I've done a few things since we were last here. Um, we were going into Hexaray, we made the book and everything last episode. Got our broom, which gives us a form of flight without the jet pack. Handy. Uh, made the cauldron. Um, I have it in between episodes made this drying rack, but we're not going to be looking at that today because I understand we've started a whole bunch of mods and not really got that far with any of them. So today we're going to go back to Batania. Now what I've been doing between episodes, um, my endo flames here are burning some coal, but I've like managed to build up a little bit of a little bit of mana here. Hold on, let me get my wand to the forest. So let's do that. Wand. Nope, it's in the backpack. And there it is. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Holding my wand and now we can see eh, we're getting on towards a quarter full, which isn't too bad. Um one thing else I want to get out of my backpack quickly is my sleeping bag, so I don't have to run to the bed every time. Let's do that. <clears throat> Alright, so in between episodes, I um, got a load of floral fertilizer. I expanded out this area just now. As you can see, it hasn't covered in grass yet, just so we've got a bit more room to work in. We've now got all diff 16 of the different flowers and their respective petals. I made a bit more um, living wood and living rock. And with that living rock, I made a... Um, let me just have a runic i made one of these because it's really easy it was just like a mana pearl or mana diamond so you just make that by throwing a diamond into the mana pool or ender pearl and it um turns it into a a mana diamond or mana pearl and everything and then it's just a few living rock around that so the reason we want to make this runic altar is because like one of the big crafted ingredients for uh botania is runes and um, this is going to be one of our uses of uh, mana here. But in order to get the mana from there to there, well, there's two ways. I can even make sparks, but I don't think I'm quite there yet. So we'll get to that later. Um, mana spreader. Yeah, it's just a gold ingot. Gold. You. I just need any petal. Any petal will do. That one. And then we just need five, I think. Gonna see. Mana spreader. You. Okay, so it's living wood. I think it's this. Right? Six. Like that, and then like that, and then like that. Nope, not living with planks. With logs. That's what I thought. Okay. Anyways, so that's that. And the reason I want to do this is because I need to transport. Well, that's not what I was intending, but hey. So link that to that, it turns it round. And then when I need mana, it will be, which it does to do these rituals. Um, it will take it from the mana pool, because I'm going to link you to you. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, and I should pull mana from there and it should go into there. Right, so why? Why do I need the Runic Altar? Because I want to get into generating more mana than this. And one of the good ways I found in the past was um, these Thermalilies, which I just unlocked by um, making that mana pearl that I did. But in order to make these in the Petal Apothecary, it means I need a Rune of Fire and a Rune of Earth. 
Okay. So a rune. <clears throat> oh, fire. Means I need never wart. Now I can't remember if I found any never wart. But this could be the mission for today. Nope. Uh, never warp mushroom, never warp block. Never warp block, never warp stack. Never warp block, never warp sack. And I need an alchemy chemist for that. All right, we are off to the never. I'm gonna use my backpack for this because the never is a mess in this pack, literally. I'm gonna go try and find some never wart. So let's try and not die. <clears throat> I mean, that's Nylium. Never wart block. Huh. Well, that's kind of convenient if that is. Yeah, axe it. Look at that. How easy was that? Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Alright. Got the never wart. And then we want. What else do we need? I'm pretty sure we got the rest. So the mana powder, mana steel, gunpowder, and a never brick. So let's um do I need an iron for the mana steel. Uh redstone for the mana powder. But Uh, it was another brick, wasn't it? Okay, we haven't got any of them, but there's a really quick solution to that. And that is that I'm going to um, get into... Hey. Here. Screw it. We'll do some a load whilst we're here. Um... Yeah. Gonna use Old Faithful. One of them. And we want Rune of Fire. Uh, Gunpowder. Good question. Got a few. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, up there. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is this, 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 this. <clears throat> and I know I need a living rock to finish this, I believe. So let's try this, shall we? Uh, yep. And they all float around like this. And then what do I do? Do I hit it with my wand? Oh, is this the living rock thing? I can't remember how to get this thing started. Do I throw this in there? I'm going to have to read the book, aren't I? Wow. It's been so long since I played with Batania. Uh, okay. Um, Alright, that's mana manipulation. Alright. Runicolta. 
Okay. Okay. The most advanced tunes named after the seventh day la, la, la. Right clicking the running call tool with an empty hard one so it's not accepted manner will pull out the last item. Additionally attached comparator elements to blah, blah blah. Start by placing either right click or simple toss the components of the arena you want to create upon the altar. Put a mana spreader with supply mana to the altar and let the mana flow. Your wand will show you the progress of the transfer. So am I missing something here? Oh yeah, I haven't got the right ingredients. I mean, that would help massively. Okay. All right. So it needs to be mana steel. Go and mana dust. There we go. Shall we try this again? There we go. And now I started. Oh yeah, and we can see the progress there. and get this finished and then get asleep. Yeah. And then what? Wand it? Boom! Alright, and that gives us two. Right, let's sleep quickly. Okay. And now we need the Rune of Earth. Which is a block of coal, stone, and a steel, mana, and a powder, brown mushroom. Okay. Not sure how much coal I've got left. Probably not much. Just enough. I'm going to have to go mining for some coal between episodes. Alright, uh, one iron. Redstone. Mushroom. Not sure that's going to work. Hmm. Let's get all the other ingredients and then we're going to worry about the uh, mushroom. We need one of them. We need one of them. Uh, <clears throat> we can turn this and this into what we need. So. Perfect. Now mushroom. Um, the never used to be a good place to get them, but I'm not sure what it's going to be like in this park. <clears throat> yeah, I really don't want to be in this biome for it, that's for sure, by the looks of it. 
because it's all them fancy ones. I'm going to try and go over here. Oh, I have to go really high up to get over this. Yeah, because all I can see are these crimson mushrooms, and that is no good to me. Oh, but there is a mushroom tree. Um, hmm. Gave me two brown mushrooms. I will take it. Okay. So we've got a mushroom, block of coal, that, that, that. Okay, we're good. I think. Let's see. You, you. You and you. There we go. I just need my living rock. Should have enough mana. I've got my runes of earth. Okay, so back to the book. We're gonna go to. Oh. Generating. Therma. Alright, so we need a red and two orange. Good. Uh, we're going to need a bucket. Alright, let's see. One of them. One of them. Two of them. And uh, one of these. Oh yeah, we need a seed. Perfect. Okay, and we could do another one because we got two of each rune already. One of them. Uh, we need one of you, two of you. And I need my rune of earth and my seed. Good, that's two thermal ladies. Now thermal ladies use um, lava to generate. Uh, mana. And there's a thing I'm gonna do here just for now. Now I am gonna automate this at some point, but it's not gonna be today because it's pretty complicated and I'm not even remotely set up to do it. The lava will not destroy these plants. Throw that. And then what I'm gonna do is um that come on there. Click that, put it on there. And then if I um where's my rod thing? There. If I get down to the A area, I've got a uh, an unsuspecting tank of lava here. I'm going to need to refill soon now. Um, okay. So if my theory is correct, I should be able to just this. And that's at it. And that sends like a lot of mana. Now these burn through a lot of mana in a very short period of time. 
and this will fill up pretty quickly. But um, they do have a five minute cooldown period as well. So any lava you put down there in the cooldown period, see that's full, that's full, that's full. They're both full of energy right now. So what I'm going to do just to um, make this really OP for a bit, give myself plenty of uh, mana for the moment. I've got some cool coke. I'm going to, uh, yeah, i got enough for four. I'm going to feed the um, endo flames for these as well. And we're going to have a pretty hefty flow of mana going into there. That's going to be filled up relatively quickly. See, these are on cooldown now. But those cold coke blocks are going to go for ages. So, like, I mean, this is good. And what you could do is automate it to place these after. I believe these burn for 45 seconds. And then they have a five-minute cooldown. So any lava you place... In that five minutes of 45 seconds gets wasted in the second five minutes of that so you need to set it up so it places lava after say six minutes and does it automatically and then you'll have a constant flow best way to do it is be able to pump lava from the nether using an ender tank or something like that and um, then you can have a constant supply of mana but for now this is a good beginning so i'm happy with that all right <clears throat> So that's the progress for today with um, Batania. We wanted to get them generating flowers extra. We got the Runic Altar. You've seen how that goes. And we're going to get into uh, actually making some stuff in the next few episodes. So to continue where I was looking at that other mod, uh, Hexer Hexeri, Hexeri, I said that I had made this um, drying rack because the broom, when you place it, oh, that's the wrong thing place it in the world if you shift click it you can see that you got a brush but they're um unfortunately they uh, take durability damage the longer you fly so i've used five percent of it so it's not very fast but in order to hold an extra brush and stuff i need to have a satchel on here so what i need to do is look up this satchel and you've got to start with a small <clears throat> You need water, six leather, string, and a gold nugget. All right. So I know I've got some leather. Yep. Four, six leather. A string. Gold nugget. Which I've got one for some reason. And I'm going to use my bucket. Blood Sigil's not in there because I don't need it. Okay. I'm going to throw in my stuff. <sighs> um. Oh yeah, okay. And then we've got a small satchel. Shall we make the medium? We made the medium. Good question. Six more leather and string. Why not? All right. And that's just another form of storage for us when we're exploring. So, you, you, and you. Take that. I don't think we're going to need more than a medium one. For oh, I didn't mean to press that. I meant to press that. Now we have a satchel, so now we've got an inventory in our broom as well. You can see right there, that's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. But the whole point of that was to make some extra brushes. So, three, 
broom brush. So in order to make that, we need to make a wet broom brush. We need two mandrake roots. We need yellow dock leaf and a mugwort leaf. Now I believe we got some of them from that biome before last episode. Mug flowers. What use are these? Wax blend. Okay. <clears throat> what about the dock? Yeah, we got those. Huh. Well, I guess I know what I'm going to be doing in between episodes today then. So, um, we're just a little tiny bit shy of time today, but... I'm going to call it quits for today and um, this is where we're going to leave it. So thank you very much for watching. We will continue with the broom stuff in the next episode. And as always, until next time, stay safe.